why you shouldn't get a T3i in 2018. So my last video was the video about why you should get a T3i in 2017. And apparently that video actually had an audio, so we're gonna continue. Impressive. Number one reason why you should not get a T3i in 2018 is because it has almost zero to no functions if you don't install Magic Lantern. You can take video and pictures, but basically if you don't install Magic Lantern, you're limiting yourself a lot. And most people don't in install Magic Lantern because you kind of risk breaking your camera. One of the biggest things that I hate about this camera is the, the lack of autofocus in video. It's basically, this is like autofocus 1.0 and the cameras nowadays are like cam autofocus like 4.0, 5.0. Can you focus? I would definitely advise not getting this in 2018 because of that. Most of the time, you're just, you know, racking focus. You end up missing your pictures and video and then you check later and you realize you have a, a soft photo like this. The lizard, show the lizard. Reason number two why you should not get this camera in 2018. Uh, there's no EVF. I didn't realize how important an EVF is. And if you don't know what an EVF is, is electric viewfinder. Uh, if you have an electric viewfinder and it's during the daytime, you can literally see everything you're shooting. If it's uh, out of focus, uh, overexposed, underexposed, you'll see it right in the viewfinder, but not in this one. This is just like a regular viewfinder and you, can never, you won't be able to tell unless you take multiple pictures and then it just takes a lot of time. And then it's just not good. Uh, and there's no way to tell if you're in focus especially in the, during the day. I brought this camera when we went to Asia and I literally took like a, when we were, we were eating durian and the whole time we were out of, I was out of focus. So, and it's very hard, very, very hard to match with newer cameras. Here's another example. This is from the vlog. Uh, we're eating, right now we're eating like durian and I'm using two cameras. I, st I didn't do it for the rest of the trip just because the footage looks so different for both cameras. The RX100 is super sharp, and then the T3i, uh, I believe it was a 10 to 18 uh, lens. It looks super out of focus. It just doesn't hold up nowadays. EVF, very important. You will never know if you never had it, and once you have it, you can't go back. Number three, third reason why you should not have, you should not buy this camera in 2018. There's a lot more cameras that came out after this that are much more worth it. You get much more value for what you pay for like um, any of the Canon, Sony, or Panasonic cameras I would recommend. Uh, like the GH3, 4 are good options. Canon 70D, 80D. I'm gonna leave some affiliate links in the bottom of this screen. So if you guys uh, are looking for a new camera, uh, definitely check those out. Uh, yeah, GH4 would, would be my recommendation or ADD. And number four, it's more uh, psychological. This camera, if you look at it, um, and if you're with a bunch of, you know, your well-learned filmmakers and everyone's got like a fancy new camera and you bring this and you pull this out, you'll feel like a noob no matter how uh, how good you are at shooting, you know? You just kind of, it's kind of like going to like Vegas and going to like the pools and then like you're, you have a, everyone's got a six pack and you're like the only one that is just like not ripped. That's what it is like uh, wielding this guy. I always try to not care about what other people think about, about you, but this is really super beginner. You look like an noob. That's number four. I got this in 2012. Yes, 2012. It's lasted this long, it's still alive. So if you have it, just use it, learn how to use it. It's a very good beginner camera. It's like getting your first motorcycle. What do you think my next camera should be? I'm in the market for a new camera. I'm thinking I should wait for the Sony a A7S III. I was gonna go for the A7 III, but I don't know. Uh, it was kind of out of, it was out of stock and I've been waiting for a new credit card so I can get those points, you know? You know, trying to rack up those points while also getting a new camera and 
deducting that in the taxes, you know, you know. Well, guys, thank you for watching that video. I've been I've, I've been making a lot of videos lately, uh, just because I needed to practice my you know shooting and editing. If it helped you in any way, let me know. Let me know if this, this deters you from actually buying this camera. Yeah. Until next time. Peace.